Welcome back! We are about to embark on the short path of this game. There are two ways to get to the end. The short or easy way, or the long or hard way. And we're gonna take the short path first. That will not give us the full score and uh, means that we will miss out on some of the things, but like I said, we will be doing the long path later because I prefer to uh, end the Let's Play on the proper good ending. And um, since we just made Alhazred think that we are now dead, we can attempt to infiltrate the castle. Uh, before we do so, however, I want to trade in the uh, tinderbox. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. And for the short path, we are going to need the Mechanical Nightingale again. That Mechanical Nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very good, Prince Alex. It is always a pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy the Mechanical Nightingale and feel free to bring it back anytime. Thank you. We will not need to bring it back anymore and we also do not need to do any business with the lamp peddler for the short path old lamps for new old lamps for new so he will get to keep his new lamps For the short path, we are not going to um, bring those spirits that the Oracle talked about back from the dead, so instead we are just going to head straight into the castle. See if we can find a way to uh, break in there now. A group of serving women approach the castle. Ah, woof! Oh, serving women! The castle staff is certainly busy today! Aye, Gruff! Gotta move on there, wenches! There's plenty of work left to do before the wedding! Yes, Sergeant Gruff. More serving women for the wedding. Those serving wenches are always late! And that gives me an idea. Maybe we can get into the castle by disguising ourselves using Beauty's clothes. Taking his cue from the serving women he's seen enter the castle, Alexander decides to try a few alterations to make himself more acceptable to the guards. He ducks into the little hut to put on Beauty's clothes. Feeling a little foolish, Alexander slips Beauty's old slave clothes on over his own. Imagine if Cosima saw him like this. What would she think of us? Well, here we go. You there! Girl! You're late! Get a move on before the wazir sees you! Yes! <clears throat> yes, sir. The castle guards lock the main entrance doors behind Alexander. From the open door comes the clatter of pots and pans, yelled instructions and other busy kitchen noises. Girl, don't just stand there. There's a stack of silver almost to the ceiling that needs polishing for the wedding. 
get a move on. Where's he going? I can't afford to get caught up in that mess. I'd never find Kasima. Taking off your disguise might prevent you from getting caught up on that in that mess. But um, now if you get caught, you'll probably get killed. So I'm not entirely sure which is preferable. Well, if there's anything we can say about this, it's that um, Alexander's adventure in cross-dressing was at the very least uh, shorter and less embarrassing than Roger's uh, attempt at the same in, in Space Quest 4. I guess it's better that we take that off. Wouldn't want Cosima to see us uh, like that, would we? I'm going to save here. I don't think it's really necessary. But I'm going to anyway. Let's see. The entrance hall to the castle looks quite nice. Alexander is standing in the grand hall of the Castle of the Crown. Brilliantly colored marble gleams from every surface, and the floor is inlaid with geometric patterns. The ceiling spans upward to a two-story height. Staircases on either side of the room lead upstairs, and two massive doors to the north lead to the throne room. Hmm. Chandelier. A massive chandelier lights the large room. That's not going to fall on us uh, if we walk under it, is it? Like in the Colonel's uh, bequest? I guess not. Large urns stand formally near the staircases. Can we get Beauty's clothes back? Alexander doesn't need to get Beauty's clothes back. He doesn't want to be dressed as a woman when he finds Cosima. I guess that's a good point. Let's see where these doors go. There's a door on the west wall under the stairs. It's the door the waiter came through and probably leads to the kitchen. Well, I am feeling kind of peckish, so let's check it out. Alexander decides to check out the door the waiter came through. No lunch is being served today. We're busy catering the wedding. Apparently, the kitchen is no place to be today. Seems like it. How about the throne room? On the north wall is a set of large double doors. From his experience with the castle architecture, Alexander guesses that they lead to the throne room. There's a keyhole in one of the double doors. Whenever the narrator says that, it means you can look through the keyhole. Alexander looks through the keyhole. Two guard dogs are on duty in what appears to be a throne room. Hmm. That might mean it's not a good idea to go into the throne room, but I'm sure I can take him. Uh-oh. Alexander's walked right into a couple of guard dogs. Look, an early guest. Are you on the bride or the groom's side? That's the foreigner the wazir warned us about. Grab him! Oops. You'll stay in here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. The sound of running footsteps echoes outside Alexander's cell. What are you doing down here, Shrew? We've already got him locked up. Go back to your post upstairs. Uh, uh, the Wazir wanted to know what all the commotion was about, and I told him about the intruder. He told me to post extra guards on this one. Extra guards, huh? So be it. That's not good. Just as Alexander realizes that he has no possible means of escape, he hears the sound of wedding music playing somewhere in the castle. Confound this dungeon! I'll never be able to stop the wedding now. 
tis a noble thing to have a means of escape, and tis a far, far better thing never to get caught at all. Indeed. Well, at least we're not dead. We're just rotting in the dungeon for the rest of our lives. Okay, I guess that's not, l not an awful lot better. How about this door on the right? There's a door on the east wall under the stairs. No keyhole? The door is locked. I guess that leaves us with only the staircases. Whoa! Alexander runs right into a guard dog patrol. Hmm. They seem to be uh, walking in such a way that one of them is always facing us. That's going to make our life difficult. Two powerfully built guard dogs patrol the upstairs hallway. The guard dogs patrol in a diverging pattern to ensure constant visual coverage of all parts of the hallway. Well, I don't see how we're going to get by them. So we'd better head back down and try the other staircase. Hopefully we'll be more lucky there. More guard dogs. By Cerebus Collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Bay, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Cosima crying all day long and be ordered to ignore it yet? Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The Wazir says that the Princess is not herself. Says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it, the poor might, but still. I agree, it seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. I well, she insisted on the morning period, and it's up today. Thank the stars. It's too bad we couldn't find that nightingale of hers. The wazir says she's been pining for it. <laughs> If I had an ounce of luck, I'd have found it weeks ago. <sighs> Not only would it cheer up the princess, but the reward the wizirs offered for it would make me pretty happy too, doggone it. Aw, oh, well, our luck will definitely be out if the wazir catches a snap in our jaws at our post. Sorry, Wolf. I'll keep my muzzle shut. Very interesting. And I guess we'll have to see if we can get by these two guard dogs in the next video.